this website, this website, and this website are all the same. They are actually Zendesk Help Center. This is called a white label SaaS. There's one parent application, the Zendesk Help Center, the fully feature-rich software, and then there are different child apps. They set up a different brand and hosted the app on their domain. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can build your own white label SaaS without writing a single line of code. For those of you who are new here, over the past four years, I've helped more than 100 plus founders build and launch their SaaS products without writing a single line of code. Some of them have been white labeled. It seems hard, but once you know the basics, they're quite easy to make. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is sign up to bubble.io. Bubble is a fantastic no-code platform that combines design, logic, data. Don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step all the way. When you start, just skip through the onboarding steps. We'll start with a blank canvas. We're gonna be building a simple knowledge base, all right? So what do I need in my simple knowledge base? I need my company name first. So I'm just gonna drag and drop a text element here. I'm gonna put company name here, all right? I'll make it slightly bigger, that's fine. I want my company logo, so I'm gonna take an image and I'm gonna place it here as well. This is my logo. I've not connected it with anything. This, I'm just laying down the front end of my application. Now, I just want a simple FAQ section in my knowledge base. So for FAQ, what I'm looking for is called a repeating group. I'm just gonna drag and drop the repeating group here, make it slightly bigger. Okay, notice it starts repeating entries, kind of like an FAQ element here. I'm just gonna put a piece of text inside it, all right? So FAQ question, and I'm gonna put one more piece of text here, FAQ detail. Following up until now, so what I've been doing up until now is just laying down the front end of the application. I've got my company name at the top, I've got my logo here, this is a little bit big, so I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller, 100 by 100, and I've got my FAQ here at the bottom. Notice I've not connected anything in the database. This is just arbitrary data at the moment. So I can click preview and nothing will show apart from maybe just the static company name here, okay? So what I need to do now is we were in the design tab focusing on the front end of the application. Now we're gonna switch to the data tab. In the data tab, I need two database types. Think of it like a spreadsheet, okay? So I need my company information here. Company, what does the company information contain? The name of the company and the logo of the company. So I'm just gonna create a field name. The field type will be text. And I'm gonna create a field called logo. The field type will be image, okay? Now, the other thing I need is my FAQ table, another sheet in my spreadsheet, okay? So FAQ, create this. I need an FAQ uh, question, which is a type text, and I need the FAQ detail, which is also a type text, all right? So in the data types panel, I'm defining, I'm creating the spreadsheet structure. In the app data, I'm going to be actually creating some entries, okay? So let me just create a single company here. Amazing company. I'm gonna upload a logo. So I've got my company logo using DALI. I'm just gonna upload that here. Create. So now I've got a single entry in my database for amazing company and the logo. Now let me just add a few entries for FAQ. Okay, I just added three entries in my FAQ. I've got questions and I've got details, all right? Now I've got my data types configured. I've got my app data set up. Now let me go back to the front end and connect everything together, all right? So how do I connect company name to the company name in my database? Simple, I just click here. I click insert dynamic data. I do a search for, I'm searching for companies and I've got one entry in my database. I'm just gonna do first item and select, I want the name field to appear here. I'm gonna repeat this with the logo. So I'm just gonna click here, dynamic image, insert dynamic data, do a search for company. Again, click this more here, first item, 
logo. Let me see what this looks like. Amazing company with my amazing logo is here already. Now I just need to put my FAQs here. Let's take a look at how that's done. So in the FAQs, I'm going to click this repeating group. I'm going to change the type of content to the FAQ entry that I just created and defined in my database. I'm going to click this data source section here. And I'm going to, again, do a search in the database of a type FAQ. Okay. Now this is a repeating group. It can handle multiple entries in the database. What I need to do is now connect this question and this detail to the right fields in each entry. So if I click here and I replace this with insert dynamic data, current cell FAQ. So notice this is a repeating group. So I can fetch multiple line items. I'm talking about this line item, this row of data, current cell FAQs question comes here and click here, insert dynamic data, current cell FAQ detail. All right. Let me preview and see what it looks like. Okay. So in five minutes, I've got my front end and back end sorted. Now I added these manually from the bubble backend editor in a real system. What I would do is have a sign up page and a dashboard page where a user would be able to add, edit, delete these knowledge base entries by themselves in a separate dashboard page. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to skip that part. I've got my simple FAQ with my branded company name and my company logo. Now, how do I white label this? All right. So in bubble, you have a feature called sub applications. All right. So you just go to the settings, you head over to sub apps and here in your app name, you just say ASCII dash child dash, whatever name you want, use some type of naming scheme, copy the database. I'll just create that as well and click create. Now the magic is happening behind the scenes. A new sub application child was created ASCII child FAQ one. Before we continue, my goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. So I'd really appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button and let me just for the argument's sake, child dash FAQ two, which is a different domain, create another one. Okay. We've got two of our apps generated. Now note, keep in mind, we've got one master app and we've got two, three, that's just a test. We've got two children apps. So if I open a child app in a separate bubble editor, let's just preview. We've got this bootcamp version test app, which is amazing company, same thing. And we've got, I'll talk about how to assign domain names in a bit. And we've got the ASCII child FAQ bubble apps. We've got the same domain name, but they both have different databases. Okay. So let me just go to the child app, go to the data tab and change the company logo for this one. I'll just upload something else. And in the database, I can change these questions as well. Of course, in a production app, we're going to make an admin dashboard, which will allow changing these, but just for conceptually, just to explain. And yeah, so I've got amazing company too, different title, different, uh, logo, different text inside. I've got amazing company one different title, different logo, different questions, FAQ inside. They're different apps essentially. Now, if I had to configure a domain name, I would just go to the domains tab for the master. I can configure a separate domain in each child. I can go and configure separate domain names as well. Okay. But you have to be on a paid plan to configure the domain. Now for a different child app, I can open it in the editor. I just went to the database and changed the data. And now I've got my third child app as well. So let me just quickly flick through all three that I was doing in the beginning. This website, this website, this website are all the same. Now that we've got multiple apps, the next main thing you need to be aware of is how do you make an edit in the parent and trickle it through to child apps. What I'm going to do is just add a simple tagline underneath the company title. Let's go to our parent app, go to the front end design editor. All I need to do is add another piece of text here. Okay. Now I need the database entry. I need to create the tagline somewhere. So in the data tab, in the company, I create another field tagline text. Okay. In my app data, again, this will be something that in the front end, a, a logged in user would be doing. This is an amazing company. 
click save. Now, all I need to do is in my design tab, I just need to connect the two. So insert dynamic data, do a search for company, first item tagline. Let's preview and see what it looks like. So I've got my tagline here, amazing. So now notice this is only in the parent app, okay? If I open the child apps, I won't have any tagline here, okay? There's no tagline here. There's no, even in the bubble editor, there's no field for tagline here. So there's no space to add tagline here, any logged in section or whatever. Now, how do I push changes from the parent app to the child? Again, I go to settings, I go to sub apps, then I have this magic space here. All I do is I click push to all sub apps, push to all sub apps, confirm, wait a bit and we're done. It takes a while, but then we're done. So all the editor changes have been pushed from the parent app to each child. Now, if I open the editor for child FAQ one, which one is this child FAQ one, I've got the empty tagline field. So the data type has been created. It's not populated, but because again, some dashboard to actually edit it, a different tagline. And if I preview this, we have amazing company two, a different tagline and same for child FAQ two. Open that in the editor so I can just add a different, wow, tagline. So if I view it here, so if I view all apps, I've got wow tagline, wow company. I've got amazing company two and a different tagline. And I've got amazing company with the, this is amazing company tagline. So what did we just do? We made a change in the master app. We pushed the change to each child app. It's a white label SAS. Okay. So any growth that we do, any product development that we do on one code base or one master app, we can push it all to various children and scale that way. So each app can have, we can sit on their own domain. They have their own database. They have their own login user sign up and everything. So they're completely separate and, and isolated in that sense. So just coming back to our original example, we've got this app and this app. What did we do? We just created a parent help desk app and now we've got two child apps. So this is our parent. Let me just name that to parent. That makes it easier to understand. So we've got the parent app. This is the, the original Zendesk help desk. Then we've got different users, different companies using different knowledge bases. And for each company, we can configure different domains and change the branding as well. So we go to the settings and domain tab and we just change the domain to assign it to a different domain. We go for another app, we go to a different settings domain, we just assign a different domain. So we can, going back to our example, different branding, different domain, easily doable. Branding, again, you can just change the logo, change the background color, change the styling, a lot of stuff. You, again, you just add more fields in the company data type for the primary color, for secondary color, whatever, and just trickle it through to the child apps. Now, one other thing that I would like to cover is what's called self serve. Okay. Now in an ideal world, what you would like is somebody to sign up and without manual processing of setting, click, create new, create, configure the database, set the domain up. This, all this is a bit of manual steps with the sub apps model. In an ideal world, you want it to be self serve your white label SaaS. For self serve, there's a third party service called Coalius that you can hook up and connect. Coalius deserves a whole separate video because it's got a lot of steps to configure and set up. But essentially, you've got two approaches to white labeling using Bubble. You've got the sub apps approach, but if you want the self serve approach, you have to use Coalius. Now, a fully comprehensive system will take a lot more time and energy, but just to demonstrate without writing a single line of code, we managed to create a knowledge base white label SaaS application. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to answer. And if you would like hands-on assistance to build your white label SaaS product for you, more than happy to help. I've got a team of bubble developers and we bubble all day, every day, and we can easily sort this out for you in no time. Thanks. Bye.